Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat. And uh, today we're going to be looking at Spelunky. Spelunky, <laughs> if I'm saying that right. Um, we're playing this game on Steam. Um, just come out today. And I'll just warn you now, <clears throat> there's been some definite issues with this game today. Um, like control issues, like, um, you know, key key presses registering uh, which is actually causing the game like not to be able to start like you can't like start the game so in order to actually overcome this I've had, I'm playing the game in 720p but I'm having to play it in windowed mode uh, I've got the 360 controller hooked up um, and I'm hoping it's gonna work on this playthrough um, or at least in this video so like when you're playing on keyboard, like you have to press the Z key in order to like accept, basically, you know, accept the settings, and it's not really registering. And also, when you're playing with a 360 controller, again, it wasn't really registering, depending on what kind of resolution you was using. If it was full screen, windowed, this appears to be working whilst it's in window mode. So we're gonna see how we get on. Um, the game is currently running at 60 frames per second. Um, hopefully it's going to stay that way. It doesn't seem to be dropping any frames at the moment. Uh, this is actually the tutorial. So greetings, my name is Yang and this is my journal. Dusty maps and rumours of amazing treasures have led me here deep under the desert. There's something very strange about this place, the layout seems to change all the time, I've never seen the same room twice. It could be the legendary curse of Almet, the one they say traps people inside the caves forever. I push the idea out of my mind and focus on the treasure, instead, if I master the basics of movement and combat I'll know I'll leave here a rich man. Yeah, so this was just reviewed on um, Eurogamer earlier on today. Where it uh, received a 10 out of 10, so they called it a perfect game. But I've never played Spelunky before. I think this is it. I think this may be the second iteration. I, I think it's been on PC a while, and then I think it came to Xbox Live, from what I was reading. And now it's like back on PC again. Um, I'm not sure if it's like updated graphics-wise levels or whatever. I just know it's. It's a new game back on Steam, so um, yeah. So we're gonna do this tutorial. So basically, it, it's showing us the ropes, as you can see. You know these little drawings and everything, basically showing you the controls, what to do. Um, obviously, you want to collect items throughout each level. And from what I've read, the le the levels, like the main levels, when you start the game proper, they're randomly generated. So like every time you play it's it's going to be different um somehow so you know trying to memorize the actual layout of the levels isn't necessarily going to help you in spelunky i guess that's like one of its charms um something that's quite unique about it i guess the journey has been more difficult than i expected i've fallen in bite pits, stepped into traps and being attacked by monsters. Yet no matter what happens I'll always wake up at the entrance to the mines. It's like death itself has lost its way down here. Despite the eeriness of these events I remain focused on the task at hand. Eagerly I press on pursuing my fame and fortune. So this is tutorial part 2. So obviously these are like little gold bars, gold bars which add to our um, total money. Now we do have like a whip where we can kill these little snakes and we've got bombs as well so we could drop a bomb there and cause an explosion um, let's just see what happens if I drop one here there we go can you see them like flashing inside the bricks like they're, they're like little gold bars as well you see so and actually use the bombs to to blow them up and then get the gold inside. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that. Nearly. <laughs> I 
and we're still running at a, a constant 60 frames per second and that's recording with fraps as well so that's probably got to do something with running the game in 720p and windowed mode but then again I was playing in uh, 1080p earlier on and there's not really much difference if I'm being quite honest um, you know there's really really not so I'll drop a bomb here just want to go down here and get the whip not the whip the uh, rope which is gonna allow us to get up here like so okay I, I've been hearing the stories of people raging on this game. It's supposed to be such a difficult game, um, but it, it's probably going to be one of them games, you know, that has that just one more try um, kind of thing to it. Oh shit, that weren't very fair, was it? You know, it's going to be like, oh, just one more try, one more try, and then before you know it, you've lost like hours <laughs> of your, of your life playing Spelunker. You know. So push that through there, jump. So with it running in sixty frames, you know, the controller response is a uh, top notch as well. Here, drop the bomb there. We can get these two from down here as well. See what's up here. Some more bombs. Oh, nearly fell in the pit then. I caught a glimpse of a lush paradise the other day at the end of the mines. How could such a place exist so far underground and what lies beyond? Cave merchants speak of even more fabulous sights further below, ancient ruins and cities made of gold. The very idea makes my restless heart beat faster. So this is the final um, part of the tutorial. I think there's a snake under here. Ah, but well, there you go and see. Sometimes there is a snake under there. Just throw that rock at his head. Well, come on, Mr. Bat. Oh, shit. If you want to get the jewel, that's the shit you have to do. This is the merchant here, so you can actually buy items and shit from him, or you can kill him if you so choose. <laughs> Just hit that rock on its head. Um, let me see. Let's go down here. Up on there. That'll do. About. The music is really nice as well, I must admit. Really like the music. Right, how do I pick this chick up? There we go. Yeah, so you are, you've got to save like the damsel in distress as well. Um, and I think like she gives you a kiss afterwards. And it's nice that you can actually keep hold, hold of her whilst like doing other actions as well. Um, you don't often see that. Oh shit. Oh! Fuck! Oh shit, that killed me. So we have to start again. Damn. That was gay. I know now though, that was there, uh, so... I didn't realise about that before, so... And I also didn't come over here before. Let's 
some more rope, some more gold. If I go up here first without taking the check, should. See, because um, I also want to collect the idol as well. So if I throw this at the thing, yes. So I can blow a hole through the actual level, basically, to, so I can get to where I actually need to go, um, which is dope as well, so... Come this way, I can only take one of them at a time. Um, so if I put that there, drop a bomb here. will actually need that. So come down here. So I've thrown that idol away so I actually get more um, points for that or more like money. Can also rescue the damsel as well. She can come with me. Um, but I got. I'll finish it just because I don't want to die. I've got like one life left. To whomever holds this journal, to whomever holds this journal, I hope you find it useful. It served me well, but I no longer need it. I'm descending into the caves for what I hope is the last time. I won't return until I've escaped with the ultimate treasure. Or are, there are, or are there even greater delights to be discovered? Well, there's only one way to find out. Take this key, it will open the entrance to the mines. Follow me if you dare. Happy exploring, Yang. I, I also got an achievement. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the game begins proper. Um, going into the mines. So, we'll check it out. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're in Mines 101. Got spider webs getting caught in spider webs here. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? So you have to be careful of, of, of them little things because they unfortunately. They shoot things at you. So. And they kill you, so you got to be careful of them as well. Why the fuck can't I get through here? Oh, it's because of that fucking thing, isn't it? Shit. There we go. Come on, spider webs. No idea what that was supposed to have been. Is that a spider? It's a spider. I don't like spiders. Let's get this jewel from down here though. Yay! 
you have one new item in your inventory. I think I've just unlocked a badge. I think. Oh, I died again. Them things shooting me, I'm not concentrating. Quick restart. So, do you see, do you see how we're still in mines 111 and it's now changed? The setting has actually changed, so you can't get used to, to what a what has come before see that's the thing you have to you have to stay on your toes basically um, there's the damsel pick it oh shit pick up the damsel I have to try and make it out now with this chicken toe um, but if you hold down you can actually look down and obviously you can look up as well and the frame rate has just dropped to like 15 frames per second so I have no idea why why all of a sudden that's happened why all of a sudden is it working at 15 frames per second it's just been recording no problem at 60, so I have no idea what's going on there. Um, fuck. I'm still running 60 frames per... Not 60, 15. It's running in f at 15 frames. I don't know why, I don't know what I've done. To make that happen, let me just pause the game dead quick. Um, and for some odd reason, it's just staying in 50 frames per second. 15, 15 frames per second, which is why it's. All of a sudden got really like laggy. Oh that spider nearly got us then. But we saved the damsel. And she gives us a kiss. There we go. And that's mines one one completed. Okie doke, so I've got it back to recording at six day. I don't I don't know what happened. It just all of a sudden went down to fit. Uh, 15 frames per second recorded but I stopped recording and press record again and now it's gone back up to 60 a lot 60 frames so I really don't understand what that was all about but we're on mines 2-2 two, two, and we've got like two lives left so we need to be careful about exactly what we're doing Oh shit, that shouldn't happen. Fuck. Okay, restart. Oh, I press continue and not. What, what did I press? Oh shit, I press continue instead of quit restart. Oh, was it because I lost all my lives? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, when you lose all your lives, you don't start from like the level you you was on. Uh, you start like from the beginning of the game, which is one reason why everyone gets so frustrated It seems at this game um, So it's just one of them things you got to deal with when you're playing Spelunky obviously, you know See that's gone there now and I, th I think them think I think these only get like one shot anyway so as long as you can like sort of um, like set the trap off I think you're good if you know what I mean 
you get one shot in them. So if you set that trap off first, then you shouldn't have a problem really. Get the damsel. Um, so if we get this rock, we can actually throw that and that'll set that off. Then we can get her back in. There we go. I might be able to get that jewel. Oh no! Oh yeah, it's firing the other way, so we're good there. Okay, do that one. Give us a kiss, sweetheart. Woohoo! Right, so back to mines one, two. Uh, we don't really wanna get the bat out of the way and then we can jump across there like so don't want to get caught in the web nothing really up here what? Right, so there's the exit, and we need to get the. Uh, we need to try and find the uh, the damsel, don't we? So, um, so you can actually throw bombs as well, and that'll actually get rid of that thing. There's the damsel. Get her out of there. Oh shit! I didn't know they'd come alive. Ain't that a bitch? We've done it anyway. I ain't got no bombs to actually get that jewel anyway. Give us a kiss. Nice. So I actually done that in 1 minute 22 with a target time of 2.55. Kill 3. I hear snakes, I hate snakes, so we're gonna fucking snakes now. More snakes. And I've got three lives left. That were close. Well, I don't like the look of this drop. It's right down at the bottom. Oh, we've got a oh, ship. We got blue snakes, dude. I throw this rocket. Oh, the... Okay, there we go. Catch your air. Okay, so if we uh fling that at him, should be okay there now. We ain't got no bombs, so we could have just like blew our way through the wall. It's a good job we had that though. Or else we wouldn't have been fucked. Um, we've got like one rope. Oh shit. So you don't, you, you want to be careful that you don't jump from too great a height or you fuck yourself in the ass. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Oh fuck. Do you know what? I think I can't even progress now because I ain't got no. I can't get up there. I can't get up to the other side. So I think I just gotta die and like restart that shit again. That's annoying. But. You know, what can you do? So fuck it. 
I'm back to mines 1-1 one, one again, so I'm not going to redo all that for you guys, um, but that's pretty much what Spelunky is. Really difficult game, like you see, you know, I lost all my lives and I've got to go back to the start of the game. It's one of them hardcore, what, slit your wrist type games. Um, hopefully you, you guys can <laughs> stick with it. I'm going to try, it's getting like one of them addictive type things to it. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So hope you all enjoyed and as always, you know, rate, comment, subscribe and uh, hit me up. Yeah, I'm your boy and I'm out. Peace.